All right, gentlemen, these are on the house. Thank you. Cousin Mark, thanks for the drink, huh? In Brooklyn, money changes hands all night long. And it's not the kind of money that you can deposit in a bank. You handle the drop. But all that money needs to end up somewhere. They call it a drop bar. You just hide the entire city's dirty money right in plain sight. All your money in the bag. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know whose money you're jacking? Fill the bar! You don't see anything? Nah. You know, that's, that's this neighborhood, right? I heard that Cousin Marv doesn't know the bar. Some hard guys do. You're not a hard guy. Yeah, we had a crew back in the day when we was young. Marv, he thought he was a tough guy. Then the neighborhood changed. It wasn't enough to be tough no more. You know, you had to be mean. You know this guy? Oh. Find my money. Find my money. You need to see this, Marv. No, I don't need to see what's in that bag. No, don't look at that. Don't look at that. You're still in the life. No. No, I just tend the bar. Give a little man at the front of the bar and take a look at the names on the sign. But well, it's my name, because I used to own it once. They pressed, you blinked, it's over. It's been over for a while now. I'm not this, and I'm not them. Where is your cousin Marv? When I walked into a place people set up straight, they noticed I was respected, I was feared. And that meant something. Are you doing something desperate? Are you doing something that we can't clean up this time? There's some sins that you commit that you can't come back from.